prosecutors in Florida brought a dog cage into court yesterday. A dog cage. Think about this. And they contend that is where foster mom Gerilyn Graham kept four-year-old Relia Wilson. WSVN reporter Eugene Ramirez has this. A dog cage taking center stage in the courtroom Wednesday on day three of the case against Gerilyn Graham. The prosecution alleging that little Rilia Wilson, who went missing over a decade ago, had sometimes been placed inside that cage. Deborah Coakley Winfield, a friend of the defendant, says she gave the cage to the Grahams. I remember the cage and I remember that it was said to use to keep her from hurting herself. Another witness testifying Wednesday that at a fall 2000 dinner outing with the Grams, she noticed marks on the little girl. She was a little, she was scarred up um, on her arms and her head. Are we talking about a couple scratches here or there? There were, there were scrapes on her arms. Um, there was a gash above her on her head, for her head. Laquise Tuff, who says she and her mother, a friend of the defendant's life partner, Pamela, visited the Graham home more than a dozen times, says Rilia received less affection than younger sister, Roderica. And as Christmas 2000 approached, she noticed Rilia wasn't at the home. What did the defendant tell you? That she was on uh, these series of trips to um, Disney World and New York. Oh my goodness. Uh, Graham, by the way, is charged with first degree murder and the death of Rhea Wilson. Police believe she disappeared in late 2000 and her remains have never been found.